Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the 1st of March, I posted a video that it is now possible to add files to the Windows Copilot chat box. And that's the Copilot on the Windows 11 desktop and also in Microsoft Edge, where Microsoft added this add a file button, as we can see, um, to the uh, chat box of the Copilot in Edge and also the Windows 11 desktop. Then near the end of last week, I posted letting you know that Microsoft had removed this add a file from Windows Copilot, but you could still use drag and drop. Now that video will be down below for whatever reason, if you would find that of interest. But as you can see, just to let you know, that um, the add a file button now has been returned and this seems to be Microsoft using a server-side update where they pulled the feature late last week and now early this week they've reintroduced the add a file button to Copilot. So just letting you know because I did see a couple of comments where um, some users, um, this was affecting some users who are using Copilot and are attaching and we're using this feature to attach files to the chatbot. Now just a quick recap how this all works. Um, if we click on that button, uh, we can head over and we can click on any relevant um, file or image, open that, that um, copies that into the chat box and you can then ask that, uh, you can ask the um, co-pilot anything about that file or that image and dragging and dropping the same applies. We just drag and drop, copy that in and there we go and the same applies. So just letting you know that this seems to be back for now. And at this stage, not 100% sure what's, what Microsoft's plan with this is. Um, I have seen that it's also been reintroduced into Copilot in the sidebar um, of um, Microsoft Edge. And it'll be interesting to see if this is actually um, on the Copilot for desktop. Yes, they've also got it add a file. So across the board, Copilot, once again, that add a file button has been restored. So um, just putting it out there because I knew um, some of you were affected by this and hard to say though if Microsoft is going to keep this because they do chop and change a bit with new features. But like everything, I'll keep you posted um, if I get any information regarding this. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.